take my heart away Promise me just one more night Then we'll go our separate ways With hours left, time on our side Now it's fading fast Every second, every moment We got to, we gotta make it last I touch you once Touch you twice, I won't let go at any price. I need you now, like I needed you then. Always said we'll still be friends someday. If you leave, I won't cry, I won't waste a single day. But if you If You Leave by Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, or OMD, was uh, recorded in 1986 and released in the Pretty in Pink soundtrack and was used in that movie uh, quite extensively. Um, in this particular lesson, I'll be introducing the 12 triads that are used in the song. Some of the chords are played uh, with added notes, like an, there's an added 9 or an added 4 or an, uh, a 6, um, and, and so we'll talk about that. And then uh, several chords are played with a different note in the bass from the name note of the chord, so we'll talk about the subject of slash chords. It's D minor, add 4. And so I've got a D in my left hand, a D, an F, an A is 1, 3, 5, and then G is the 4. Sounds kind of weird, but you'll, you'll understand why uh, when we're playing this song. B flat, B flat 6, I've got a B flat on my left hand, and I've got a B flat, a D, and an F, and a G as the 6. And then I've got C6. As we usually do, first I'll go through the entire song, playing all the chords in their root position. Then we'll go back and I'll show you how to move from chord to chord, taking advantage of shared notes and moving to the nearest inversion of the next chord. This will make your playing sound a lot smoother and actually be easier to do physically. So the first chord is F add 9. And there's actually a guy playing a keyboard in the band that is just playing one note. He's playing this G note. I want you to notice this over here in the table for the chords of the intro and the outro is that a G is the two of an F or yeah is the nine of of an F add nine. G is the four of D minor add four, and G is the six of uh, B flat six. That note's going to stay on top. So we're going to play the first chord, the F add nine, uh, with the nine on top. So it's going to be G up on top and then F, A, C below it. With F in the bass. Now, a D minor add 4 has F, G, and A in it. The only difference is, is instead of a C that an F add 9 has, it has a D. And the bass note moves to D. So in the advanced song specific section of the lesson, I'll give you some ideas on how to play the song and make it sound full even though there's only one U and you only have one keyboard compared to what OMD had when they recorded it. And in this what I'm going to suggest that we do is that our left hand, once again this is not what the bass player did, but bear in mind that we don't have a drummer so we need to do something to kind of move the song forward. So what I'm going to suggest that we do is on our left hand we're going to be playing bass notes uh, as straight eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and in our right hand I think we're gonna do one and two and three and four and so one and two, like three three two kind of like a Coldplay song da 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 
So come on over to totallykeyboards.com where you can find the lesson for If You Leave and for many other songs. And while you're there, why don't you check out my free lessons, Totally Keyboards Top 9 Tips to Keyboard Mastery. We'll see you there.